Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at three quick tips for using the Power Query Navigator window. So let's head up to the Data tab and go to Get Data and From File, and in this example we're going to import an Excel workbook, so From Workbook, and let's just select our file. And the next step in the process for importing our data is this navigator window. So when importing an Excel workbook and other data sources, we come to this navigator window, which allows us to select different options in our data source. So we have a bunch of different sheets in this Excel workbook. And if we click on this, then we can select various different sheets and it's gonna show a little preview of the data in that sheet. And then we could just import that single sheet down here. Now we also have options here to select multiple items. So let's just check that off. And then we can see these little check boxes next to each sheet. And that's going to allow us to select multiple items to import in the one go. Now notice if I click anywhere outside of this little check box, I don't actually select the item. So when we're selecting items, we need to be very precise and check inside the box. So tip number one is if you hold control, then you can actually click anywhere and that's going to select the items for us. And if we selected a bunch of items and we want to start over again, notice there's no select all or deselect all option here. So tip number two, what we can do is go back to our select multiple items, uncheck that and check it back off. And that's going to clear out our selection for us. Now, tip number three is we can't actually select all. And we can do that if we select our first item and then hold shift and select our last item, then that's going to select them all for us. Now, of course, we can use that same tip to just select certain items. So maybe we want to select from here, and if we hold shift and go down here, then we can qu quickly select a range of uh, sheets, in this case, to import. So those are three great tips for quickly selecting what items we want to import in the Power Query Navigator window. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos like this one. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.